Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And yes, Azure and PowerShell, those two fused together are very powerful things. Uh, I've been using PowerShell a lot with my Azure stuff because it just makes everything extremely easy. But getting PowerShell to work correctly within your Azure stuff, it's a little complicated. So I'm going to show you guys how to get yourself set up. First things first, uh, with Windows 10 is extremely easy. You should have no problem. If you're still running a Windows 7 machine, you need to make sure that you have the following. So you're going to click on start, right click on computer, go to properties. And first things first, you got to make sure you're running service pack one for this to work. Also, you need to download the following KB file. So I'll click here. I will add, I will add the link at the bottom of the description and you have to download Windows Management Framework 5.0. Now PowerShell 5.0 and up will definitely work with Azure. Windows 7 doesn't come with PowerShell 5.0 and up, so that means we actually have to install it. I already downloaded the file and it's on my desktop right here, so make sure you pick the correct one for your environment. So I downloaded the Windows 7 and Windows 2012 KB for the 64-bit option. So I'm going to double click on it. It's going to start preparing the installation. It's going to search for updates on this computer. So if everything works well, you should get this right here that it wants to install the KB3134760 update. So we're going to click yes on that. You're going to get this nice little Windows just accept the license. And then it's going to start initializing the installation. And once it's completed, you need to reboot your machine. And once we reboot the machine, then we could go in there and then we could start configuring our PowerShell to start talking to your Azure portal. Okay, it looks like the KB has finally installed and it wants us to do a restart. So we're going to restart our machine. And once we restart our machine, we're going to get into our PowerShell ISE console. And then we're going to continue our setup. Okay, so once your machine is up and running and it's restarted due to the KB that we installed, uh, we need to open up either Windows PowerShell or Windows PowerShell ISE. I like using PowerShell ISE because I like the GUI interface. Uh, and you have to make sure you run it as a full admin. So the first command line that we need to run is install-module Azure RM. And we're going to just run this commandlet. Now the process takes a while, but for me, I already have the commandlet already installed into this machine, so it's pretty quick. The next commandlet that you would like to run is to check whether or not the Azure RM is there. So what we're going to do is git module uh, PowerShell git. We're going to do an attribute of list. We're going to pipe it with select object of name, version, and also path. Hit enter. And we're going to run this commandlet. And as you can see, PowerShell git. This is the version, the path of the module. Awesome. Great, great, great. Now the next commandlet that we need to run is set the permissions for our PowerShell commands to run locally. If not, you're going to have a lot of issues. So what we're going to do is a set dash execution policy with the attribute of execution policy and it's going to be remote sign and we're going to run this commandlet you're going to get this right here now because I'm doing it within a lab environment I'm going to do yes for all awesome once that's done the next thing that we need to do is the following we need to do is import dash module and we're going to import the Azure RM stuff. We're going to run it. All right, looks like it's completed. Again, because I've already done it already, it's pretty quick for me, but it might take a little bit for you and your side. And that's it. We're good. Now, to actually initiate the connection between your PowerShell, your local machine, to your Azure portal, you could do a commandlet of login dash Azure RM account. And then when you run it, you're going to get this nice little window to enter your email and your password and that's it. You log in and you're able to do all the commands. How awesome is that? You got to make sure that you're running the latest and greatest Windows 7 with Service Pack 1. If you're using Windows 10, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is just run the following 
commandments that I showed you guys to install Azure RM within your machine. If you are running Windows 7 uh, SP1, make sure you download the Windows Management Framework 5.0 and up. Uh, you probably already have it because if you keep your Windows 7 up to date, it's already there. Just make sure you double check on that. And hopefully you guys enjoy and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.